thanks for staying with us. Uh, President Bola Tinubu will hold bilateral talks with his Chinese counterpart Xi Jinping at the Forum on China-Africa Cooperation Summit between September 4 and 6, 2024. Presidential spokesman Ajurin Galali said at the summit, Tinubu will discuss regional peace and security. Galali added that the trip aims to yield significant economic benefits for Nigeria. The planned meeting between Tinubu and one of the world's most powerful presidents will take place amid a flurry of seizures of Nigerian assets by a Chinese firm, Zongshan Fucheng Industrial Investment Co. Limited. Uh, our guest this morning is Mr. Olumide Hunayo, aviation analyst. Good morning and welcome to the program. Thank you for having me. Good morning. Yeah. Okay. So, let's, what is your general uh, general view about the travel of the president? One of the reasons he is going to uh, be in China is also to talk to the, some companies and ask them to come and finish the job uh, on some of our roads that they have already started and all that. And some people are asking the question: um, Does the president have to go to every corner of the globe to discuss things? what happens to the ambassadors in those countries and all that. So let me just get what you feel about our, our president's travel and what he's meant to be discussing in China. Yeah, I think with, uh, with the recent uh, seizure, as you started with the program, uh, concerning the Chinese company that is taking the United government to the, to the cleaners in all the uh, courts uh, outside Nigeria, uh, probably this uh, this uh, travel this time is uh, appropriate, um, and it has been before. There are so many issues with Nigeria and China. Uh, we have to start discussing the aircraft that assists, the assets that are put uh, that are also uh, uh, put on the auction uh, uh, bell. Then you also have to look at um, yeah, the Chinese have invested so much in the economy, and we have so many loans from the from the rail track. Even the four airports, international airports, and uh, I am sure those uh, those payments have not been uh, <clears throat> going as uh, as planned. So I think it's important for him to make the best use of this trip rather than see it as a trip to fly in this new age But in an age of te <clears throat> in an age of technology and all that, I'm just I'm just I'm just saying. Uh, why does it have to physically be there to discuss this? What is the gravity of what just happened to Nigeria? Where it com I'm just imagining how a Nigerian company will seize Chinese assets in Nigeria. Who will come to discuss? Or a, a Nigerian company seizing the assets of America. Will the American president come to Nigeria to discuss? I'm just asking why we have to be uh, the people whose president will be moving from place to place to discuss things that some of us feel are are not as as serious as that. It's not like you're talking about war. It's not like you're talking about something that is is cannot be handled by an ambassador. Why does the president have to go there physically? I must tell you, I am not a supporter of um, Mr. President of any or any of his ministers, just like our ever traveling minister of aviation, uh, who goes for almost everything outside the country. I am not a supporter of that. But you see, um, for the president to travel to China, this uh, plan and the uh, arrangement was that must have been done a long time ago. It was not spontaneous. <clears throat> and to my hearing, I heard that there's a summit with some African countries mm. and Mr. President was invited. Um, this one has happened. It was like just coincidental to the time we were having backlash from uh, from a Chinese company who had the Chinese government mandate anyway. But it wouldn't have that that company cannot go all down without having a man considering the kind of economy, the kind of uh, economy uh, or the, uh, the other ordinance in uh, China. Well, most have the backing of government. So I just, I just feel it's timely. I'm only, I'm only advocate that this is there now. There's a need for to address other potential problems, such as the uh, loans on the rail, railway, the road loans on the uh, international airports, and ensure that we don't have a situation whereby what we have, the economy of Africa, we have to not to control us again in the, in, the, in the nearest future from the return of those other loans. So it's an opportunity now to sit down with the Chinese government and address this embarrassing, embarrassing loan. It's not only an embarrassment, but also an embarrassment to all Nigerians, including you and I, and looking at our, our presidential aircraft business. Looking at the properties business, and then uh, I, don't, I don't think it was planned because of that. I think it was, it was a planned uh, uh, arrangement. You need uh, the presidential business, not something you wake up on uh, 24 hours or uh, uh, 14 hours after you want to have a plan, and that's uh, that date. I must have approved by two parties 
for the meeting. So uh, the, that that has been done. This one is for us to look at the benefits of so send one go on the second trip to discuss all that issue. I think it's an opportunity to put all the gray areas, outstanding loans, incoming loans, and put all of the table. And this time around, it's not about just moving with your body with the same set of people that feel those that they target. But you must go with you must have your lawyers both within if you don't have the quality within go outside it. Whatever cost is going to get you to look at every little line of an agreement so we don't get, get the month bond again just as we had with the embarrassing situation of the government. Okay, when you talk about uh, discussing loans and other things, uh, from what angle do you think he should be discussing them? Uh, because just going to discuss loans, if they have taken loans from China, for instance, is he going to be talking about uh, forgiveness of debt? Is he going to be talking about extension of the tenure of the debts? Is What angle should he come from to discuss these things that you're, you're mentioning? Sincerely, we might, uh, I, I know for the aviation industry where we we, we, we we should have defaulted because we did not, the, by the time the airports were ready, uh, we, the terminals were ready, they, we want to collect the loan for, we were not able to use them due to uh, improper planning and the uh, poor situation of uh, construction. So it was delayed, and after the, after the delay, some errors were still seen. So most of the bigger airlines are not even using those. Uh, those terminals for for uh, for one in Lagos, so the smaller ones are using. So the expected revenue, the time of repay, that has been affected. So you all must be on the table, whether it's uh, uh, debate payment, forgiveness of loan, uh, a renegotiation, all must be on the table in order for us not to get embarrassed. But like I said, you do not go to the, with your, the same team, your, your 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 party members and your friends and say you are going on the trip. This time man, you, you, you should ensure that you have every every technocrat, bureaucrat, legal minority who specialize in uh, 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 negotiations and um, international agreements. So we didn't go to get ourselves, but because we are always taking this thing like we had the audit and what the next thing we know we are in court. And again, because we have a structure of when it when it comes back, you begin to look at the definition of democracy, which is the executive. Uh, legislature and judiciary, because this these organizations and countries do not believe and do not uh, do not end, and have any trust in our judicial system. Everybody is joining us as Nigeria to get judgment. It's an indictment on the judiciary, and they need for us to work on, on so many processes that we have in place that has made our judiciary uh, not be not being trusted. What kind of areas can be worked on to make our judiciary better? Well, uh, for me, I think the 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 government just needs to. Uh, it's a complete overhaul. It must start from the from the from the uh, from the from the bench uh, uh, the body of benches. Uh, the process of uh, getting judgment is too long. Uh, they, they must also look at the, uh, the, the maybe the renovation like that has been approved as well. These judges can be independent and cannot be uh, will not will not be swayed by, uh, by by the judge, by the executive or any of that any or any of that influential person in society. The, the independence of the judiciary is sacrosanct. Speedy judgment, speedy, speedy uh, implementation of uh, justice is also important, and this, uh, the speed of uh, closing cases is also it needs to be improved upon. You see, the, the truth is, we all we have the rules, we have the regulations, we have the processes, but we continually, continue and and uh, uh, winking and blinking at it. What are the processes and procedures are deliberately? The deliberately uh, 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 distorted, not to, uh, not to ensure that free justice is best. And that's why we see we, we, we're having um, what we're having now, um, having the embargo on international forum. Because we believe that yes, if it's in Nigeria, court, let's, let's go there. Uh, I, will, I will delay the case for about 20 years. Who, who does that? So the Chinese will not wait for 20 years to get this money. Um, the Britain will not wait, wait for 20 years to get this money. So, to, so we, we, we need to just get our priorities right. And if uh, I can get our priorities right, one of those that was not right is, is the presidential shape that, that the, the president is using to, to, to turn their publicity. We saw, the, the, we saw the, just two days ago, the, the British uh, uh, Prime Minister has counseled a VIP helicopter ordered by the immediate uh, presence of Russia. That it was, it was so expensive. Helicopter, to, uh, VIP helicopter, that's the meeting. The same country we borrow money from, the same country we approve our loan, the same country we go and lobby to help us with the debt to relief. It's counseling VIP. VIP, VIP helicopter, and we are buying. We are buying VIP, VIP jets. Yeah, when we when we talk about the um, the judiciary needing reforms and all that, what possible role do you think the federal government can play in uh, this reform without necessarily 
uh, would that being seen as uh, meddling in the affairs of the judiciary, which should not be? I, I, I don't want the federal government to be the one leading that process. I want you to come from the NBA, the body of bankers, and all other uh, uh, civil associations within the legal uh, institution to see how they can uh, bring, back, bring back the reputation and give that, 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 that arm the record that is needed. In the past, you could, you could, you could uh, determine that justice was fair, justice will be sweet, but not anymore. Not anymore. And you, you rather want to uh, settle your case with them, whatever, it, whatever, whatever it costs you, whether, whether, it's, uh, whether it's moral or immoral, rather, rather than wait for the legal and, 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 and justice that can take forever. And, and maybe at, at, at the last minute, it will be tainted just because you do not know the right person or you don't have the right form. So we need to address that because this country without a, a perfect justice system is a country giving, 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 giving itself away to, to uh, also commit immorality, uh, backstabbing. And uh, uh, bad corporate governance. And once you have bad, bad corporate governance, you can, no, no matter the economic programs and processes you put in place, it will not stand because uh, the, the, corporate, the corporate governance of those co other companies, who are supposed to end it, the government, who are supposed to demonize the economy, is, 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 is pulling down those policies. So it's a, it's a lot of, it's a lot of gambit. We need to work on it. We need to work on it. The laws are there. The regulations are there. Almost in all sectors. But the problem has always been implementation, 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 and implementation. Okay, let's go back to the China Nigeria relationship. The, uh, the, the talk is that this, it's, this visit is going to uh, strengthen our bilateral relationship. Uh, that is, Nigeria's, uh, between Nigeria and China, we're going to have a stronger relationship. But how would you assess the Chinese relationship with Nigeria presently, uh, given the, their presence here and what they have been doing in Nigeria, what they have been doing for Nigeria, and all that? How would you assess it? What the Chinese have been coming uh, coming to Nigeria, they are coming as uh, private investors. They are almost all sectors, mining, uh, legal and legal. They are in wood, they are in the wood, they are in the farms. They are making produce. They have companies. They export our products. They even compete with us with our products. And they also have. And if you come to the government, almost uh, the, the, if you look at the most of the loans now that are coming in, active loans uh, uh, are coming from China. And the Chinese have changed. Rather than bring money, they, 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 they join the Europeans and Americans. I mean, in, in, rather than give you money, they rather give you the equipment, give you give you the personnel to to op op operate it, and you uh, you, you come back and you put all that together and then uh, cost it. And I think that has been that has been the case. If you then think about the railway system. Where they 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 they, they, they build a terminal airport, like I said, and I think they're into some of some those constructions too. So they have been they're almost in all facets of the Nigerian economy, and because their loans are cheaper uh, when compared to what is being offered um, by by the by, by the by the Western countries, again, uh, in compatibility, they are bit rely uh, they they're, they're a bit relaxed and are, are able to talk to Nigeria. So I I feel. Having the China, going to China has a lot to do uh, with our economy, with the loans, with uh, with projects that the federal government have, have have in mind, and see how they can get uh, um, uh, the, those projects uh, signed on. But I I, I expect the president spokesperson to brief us after the visit. What are the what, what are the gains of the trip? But I look forward to um, it coming possible because most of the laws we, we, we have now, most of the projects in, in Nigeria now are coming in from the from, from the Chinese, and uh, you can't just downplay their influence on the Nigerian economy. But now they have shown that yes, in the past the, the Chinese would rather go maybe, uh, they lick their wounds or find uh, find uh, any other means of uh, getting back at you. But now they are, they are, they are behaving like uh, the Europeans, taking the cases not into not to China cause, not to Nigeria cause to the European courts and anywhere they know you have assets and see how they can get their money back. And that shows that everybody's waking up to the uh, sanctity of uh, agreements, sanctity of uh, international relations, and sanctity of uh, what we have accepted to do. So we must improve on our ability to deal with the international agreement if we want more foreign investment. And, and if, you do, if you do not want more foreign investment, then you continue to jeopardize uh, an agreement and it continues to ring the bell and vibrates around the world. So but for us, it's time to wake up. And I expect that the Mr. President should come up with some productive um, uh, engagements and uh, approvals from the, from the, from the Chinese, Chinese trip.
uh, they, should, they definitely, he definitely has to work on outstanding loans so that we don't have the repeat of what has happened. He has to work on the, the future projects that, that they will be handling and see how they can manage um, all the crisis. But I think the, 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 the Mr. President goes goes up well with good negotiators. Uh, the, the issue of the of the Chinese company will, 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 it's, uh, it's, uh, it's something that can be handled quietly with some level of diplomacy, and that will that should resolve that. Uh, uh, the, the, the issue with the state government, and that should also give every other state uh, uh, the, 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 the starting point to start thinking before they run into the session agreement. And the government said, when you stand out, when you put out your book, so friend, cover, you must ensure you don't just drop your control cover, you look at every every inch, every line in that document so you don't get embarrassed and just have happened to us with the home state government. Okay, uh, as we wrap up, uh, let me just take this advantage because you are an aviation analyst as well. Um, the next topic we'll be, we'll be discussing is domestic airfare jumps by 25% in July. That's according to the National Bureau of Statistics. So I'd like you to just give us a brief comment. Uh, what you think? Is this an improvement? It is, does this show that the fortunes in the aviation industry have improved or there is something else? Why do you think it even jumped by 25% as you wrap up on well, this uh, segment? The, the fortunes of the, of the airlines did not improve, uh, that I can tell you. Um, it, but it, it, it's, it's summertime, the school schools are closing. I, you know that most, most people have uh, uh, children, they don't matter where the schools are, provided school, and uh, you know, they and their parents have to travel. To see the parents, we are picking the children from school. So the, 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 the traveling spike up in July, and coupled with a reduction in the number of capacity supplied by Nigerian Ellen. During that period, Arik was granted over 2.5 million deaths, the old by the oil company. It was granted by the by the minister then and about for about two, three weeks. There was, for about two weeks there was no flight, and that had extra passengers looking for seats. And that was why you saw that uh, 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 jump in, in fares and uh, uh, I just hope we, if we can get the uh, airline back. As much as was an airline, but it's an airline too that that period was one skeleton. And my wife, it was even grounded. It was even grounded. So well, the capacity was not much, and that was why the uh, the first spike. But if we can get more airlines, if the aircraft can return, if they can get the ones that are uh, get engines, uh, for the ones that are grounded, grounded, they have more capacity. Then you expect the uh, the first to improve. But uh, as of now, you still have to, you still have. Um, uh, the fare is so high, and I only have five that if you want to travel, do not walk up to the airport. Don't walk to the airport on that day. Don't do this. It's not by road. It's not like no transportation. You must book ahead. If you walk to the airport on that day, then you'll be ready to pay. Okay, we'd like to thank you. This is where we'll drop this uh, segment. I would thank you for your time this morning uh, by joining us. Thank you for having me. All right. We've been talking to uh, Mr. Olumide Ohunayo, aviation analyst. We were looking at the visit of the impending visit of the president of Nigeria to China and the possible discussions that he should be having. We're going to take a short break and when we return, we'll be looking at the fact that uh, domestic airfare has jumped by 25% in July, according to the records uh, given us by the National Bureau of Statistics. Stay with us.